I collected some very nice quality rotting wood and I'm gonna tear it down. It's from an old oak tree and I thought maybe you'd like to see how it looks, how it I tear it down. It's absolutely such a high quality and I have two full bags still to do but look it's the best rotting wood I ever found it's just fantastic I have a bag I put it in I just make some smaller chunks so I can preserve it better but it's absolutely such a high quality and there was there was so much i use it for my isopods and they absolutely love it especially it's from an oak tree or birch i've been in the garden all day i <laughs> see there's some soil under my nails It will be not the first time someone called me a bio nerd because I'm very happy when I found rotting wood. And then I need to split it, make it smaller chunks. Let's get it a bit closer. But look at this. Absolutely amazing. It's so spongy. This is from the best quality for rotting wood. It doesn't weigh anything. And the isopods or millipedes just love it. And it keeps them very healthy. Just like that, it all turns up. Here, this one is a very white piece. You see the layers. Oh, that's a big chunk. Some have some coloration on it, but are perfectly white on the inside. I was walking the dog and I noticed it. It was a stump. And I poked in it and it was just all rotten. It's so satisfying to peel it layer by layer. Most of the time I uh, I put it in a bag and for about three days I put it in the fridge so it freezes and it kills any parasites and bugs so that it's safe to uh, to put in uh, my enclosure. Just so big, such a beautiful pieces. I will put it in the bag. And I still have two garbage bags full of it, all still big chunks. So I need to Ease it down, make it a bit smaller. Up the. And I noticed there are not very good videos on finding rotting wood and how to use it, how, how it looked. Like sponge, sponge like. I didn't find very good videos when I was searching at the beginning to find it myself 
I didn't know what to look for. It doesn't weigh anything. It's just absolutely no weight. Like just sponges. So now you have a clear view of how it looks and different colors it may have. You saw a bit of purple and sort of darker colors. I mostly only collect the light colors. Maybe I have a darker piece. Here is an example. You have a dark piece and a lighter piece, but in this situation it's just it's white underneath. But there are some brownie parts. Here, this is one good example. You have a brown part and a white part. I mostly like the more white parts because there are, I believe, some inner layers. So the weather doesn't uh, made it that it, uh, it, it turns color. I believe. I'm not sure. So beautiful. I hope you can hear it. It's just all rotten down. You can squeeze it and it will just all fall apart. Ooh, that's a nice chunk. Here, and you see the grow lines on it from the tree. But it's a lot of years old. It was a very big stump, maybe a hundred years. See if there is a, a big piece left. These are all some smaller pieces. Here you see the coloration. This one is just a bit brown. This one is a, a wider piece. So it must have been somewhere on the outside of the of the stump. But this is the structure you're looking for if you're going to find rotting wood. The best chances to find this is like this in springtime, in, in autumn, also after a lot of rain. I looked for it a lot in summer and I didn't find it as many as I did now. It's very like, oh, there are some bugs in it. There's some little isopods themselves. A porcelio. Scava, I believe. So if you're looking for it, I prefer spring. It's very damp and moist. And if you freeze it, it will kill all bugs and other small creatures. So you can store it for a very long time. At first I dried it and keep it dry, but I don't think I will keep it dry this time. I won't dry it. I will keep it in a closed container so that it still is a bit moist. I believe that's the better consistency. So that's a big bag already. Put in a new bag. And it's a lot and it's a lot of work. So I hope you enjoyed it to look uh, to find it yourself maybe sometimes in the woods or maybe family members who have a lot of trees. Okay. But that's how rotting wood must look like. Ooh, a nice stump. Got little veins in it. It's 
So if you're looking for rotting wood for your isopods or millipedes, this is the quality you need to find. It's perfect. And they will love it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey, I see you're still here. I got a new bag put into this crate. So if you want to see more, let's do it again. Because it's so satisfying. Ooh. These are some red bits. Rotting wood. I love that. Gotta love some good rotting wood. Mm -mm. Hey, it's a natural mealworm. Look, it's a mealworm. Huh, a wild mealworm. Almost looks the same. Oop. Rotting wood. And it's gone. It's just such a high quality. I really love doing this. But I believe I have just so much I will have it for two years. Maybe enough for two years, maybe, yeah. Let's see if there's a big chunk in here. I believe in the other bag were the bigger chunks. Oh, it's now so nice and white. Ooh. That's the quality you're looking for. Let's dig in. Oh, see all the layers. Those beautiful stripes. And at the stripes, you can peel them off. It's just one grow year. One grow year in the palm of my hand. Look at that. Ain't it amazing? Layer by layer, you can squeeze it, you can do everything to make it fall apart. Oh, so satisfying. Sometimes you come across some bugs, but that's not a problem. I'm not afraid of bugs, I love bugs. Mm. Oh, that's nice and white. That's very, very beautiful. Look at that. That's a brown piece. Those are some very nice white pieces. So. I want to see it up close. What is always a good indication if this that you find wild isopods in rotting wood, then you can tell it's a good quality. Oh. 
Hey, ooh, what we have here? That's a big, I believe it's a pupa from a moth. A night butterfly. I think I will throw it in the garden. I will keep it here. I will throw it in the garden. There we can hatch. Now, if you're still here, you like rotting wood too. Maybe you don't, don't even have isopods, but just like the sound of it. <laughs> 